What's up everyone, it's your boy NordRad89 here bringing you another video for today's video. We are going to discuss the next incarnation in the Scooby-Doo series. Yes, we are continuing our review going through all the shows and today we're going to talk about the one that's listed under the Scooby-Doo show, but it came out in 1976 and originally ran under different titles. It was under the Scooby-Doo, like, you know, Laugh Olympics and also Dynamite Puppy Hour. So it's been listed under different categories. And this is actually the first run of the TV show as well that was actually on ABC. So today we're going to discuss this show, my feelings on it and everything, some episodes, some villains and all that kind of stuff. So let's do this. Roll it. So yes, the Scooby-Doo show began in 1976. It originally ran under the name of Scooby-Doo, the Dynamut Hour. Then it was the Laugh Olympics. And then I believe the last like season or so, or the last like nine episodes, they released under the title of the Scooby-Doo Where Are You banner. But after 1980, this whole run of the show became known as the Scooby-Doo Show and is officially the longest running one until we get to talking about some of the other ones later down the line. But before, you know, with Scooby-Doo Where Are You and the new Scooby-Doo movies, this one had three seasons and 56 episodes. So this was the longest run of the kind of original incarnation of the Scooby-Doo gang. And that's one key positive is that, like I said, it has all the gang back. You know, we have Scooby, Fred, Velma, Shaggy, Daphne. We haven't split anybody up yet. We haven't added any kind of crazy characters yet. We do have guest stars in here coming in too. Like we do, I believe we have a few episodes where Yabba Dabba Doo comes in and that's uh, Scooby's cousin. So that's awesome. And it adds new layers. You know, when you have special guests come in there, they talk to like Daphne's butler and, you know, they meet an episode with him. So that adds these new three dimensional layers to these characters characters that weren't there before because with Scooby-Doo Where Are You and the new Scooby-Doo movies those are more like just you know serials like you know small little skit sitcom-y episodes here's your story here's your beginning here's the end we end it in like you know the half hour mark kind of thing and this one adds you know three dimensional layers with you know giving you background to the characters that we've been spending time with. I also like our intro mainly just the intro title card sequence and the way it's edited and like the Scooby-Doo you know like doing the little sneaking around and he's like in a villain's eye and then it backs out and he's like inside the eye and they start singing and stuff. I don't really like the song that much. It's more just the animation stuff. It's still like a very cutesy type song. It's more like it doesn't have a creepy vibe to it or anything. It's more like come hang out with Scooby-Doo, you know what I mean? Kind of like chill, like song, like happy-go-lucky, like kind of thing, which is okay. It's like very bouncy, you know, and stuff like that. But I wanted a more atmospheric kind of song that would go with the intro or something more catchy it's not really like a catchy song that sits in your ear like an earworm or anything like that but it's okay you know it's one of the, probably the middle grow middle ground like middle of the road type intro song for the theme of this uh, incarnation of the show. This is also, in fact, the first run of the TV show, Scooby-Doo show, that was actually on ABC, so they got put on one of the main networks at the time, you know, back in the day in the 70s and 80s when television was first really booming and getting big and everything. It was about the main network networks where you're on ABC or NBC or CBS, and yes, this show for the three seasons ran through on ABC so that was a big moment for Scooby-Doo and the Hanna-Barbera production company so yeah very monumental point in time and history this show was. My favorite episodes in this one or favorite villains is like we have an episode with a no-face zombie where Scooby-Doo is like eating a sub sandwich hanging out like with, I think, believe with Shaggy and he witnesses a burglary by a zombie with no face and they end up chasing him to a toy factory like kind of place that's a really fabulous episode. Another one is an episode with a gator ghoul like that. I really like the design of our villain character. So those are some really standout ones. Another one is there's a voodoo one too where we have, I believe it's the friend, they go to see a band who's actually a friend of theirs and it's his band. So that's another thing. Like I said, this one adds layers to our characters where they go like traveling to go, you know, hang out with their friend and go see his band and then end up getting into like this voodoo kind of mystery uh, episode. So yeah, there's really fun stuff in this one. The Scooby-Doo show has got a lot of content. And like I said, it's the last one that kind of feels like a spiritual sequel to Where Are You and the new Scooby-Doo movies. You know, these first three seasons really do feel, like I said, like they're in the same boat. You know, even though they came out in different years, they're under different titles and different names. They feel very much like that original crew 
the same vibe, you know, and atmosphere, and the villains all have a certain care to them, and the stories are still legit, you know what I mean? They feel okay, you know? As we get into some of the later episodes and later seasons, you know, we're going to be talking about pretty soon, some of the stories and the characters and the quality of the stories takes a dip. Well, the hardest thing about the Scooby-Doo show is actually trying to find all these episodes. This was the one that was the hardest one to find because I had to get these just based off YouTube. You had to buy the seasons or have it on, like, Amazon Prime with this premium subscription but I don't have Amazon Prime did not want to be getting that and you still needed to have the premium subscription and pay money for the episodes anyway so I really didn't care about that stuff so these are the ones that I ended up finding out on finding on YouTube so that's what kind of sucks is some of the Scooby-Doo shows you could find all of them on Tubi and then there's a lot on HBO Max or you know Max as it's called now and then there's actually uh, Mystery Incorporated is on Netflix that's where you can check that one out but yeah, this one is probably, like I said, was the hardest one to find. And that really sucks, too, because like these three seasons, there's some very solid episodes, some really good character building moments and some really cool villains. So this is one that I highly recommend you go all check out if you don't remember the Scooby-Doo show. But I believe this is probably one that a lot of people got introduced to, too, as Ch uh, like as children because like I said from 76 to 78 and then these were often reran you know throughout the 90s on Cartoon Network as you know reruns so I'm pretty sure a lot of you caught these back then. Thanks for sticking around with me all as we chat the Scooby-Doo show. I hope you're enjoying this series and like you know having fun going through all the Scooby-Doo shows with me as we chat about them. Hit me up in the comments section let me know is this one of your favorite uh, you know series of te television for Scooby-Doo? Is this one of the top dogs? Because this one has some really good content in there and be sure to like, subscribe, and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post videos because we're going to be continuing this journey probably for like the next month or so. It's going to take a while to get through all these 14 shows and then I want to like I said rank them and then we'll probably do spe some special other videos like ranking the theme songs and ranking the main characters and stuff like that. Maybe talking about some top 10 villains of all time like some rankings like that I would love and I'm planning on doing some of those videos but first I just want to kind of get through all the shows and talk about them in their entirety first and yes the Scooby-Doo show very much much like one that is kinship close to my heart as well like gonna be high up on that ranking so you must stick around to the channel but also like I said let me know in the comments again what are some of your favorite stuff about Scooby-Doo I would love to chat with you but most importantly I want y'all to have a safe and happy day peace out